both the teams came into this contest knowing what the stakes were. And China played like the team to beat. As they kept puncturing holes in the opponent's ranks, it looked well nigh impossible for Malaysia to get into this contest. And that is what happened when the first goal came China's way. And that eventually triggered a chain of events where China continued to attack. And there came goal number two as well. And it was looking all hunky-dory for China. And eventually they scored one more as well. And this one was not roundabout, but as direct as the Tan Jinjuan goal is expected to be. Malaysia, after having played catch-up for so long, found a penalty corner that Keru Nisa could drag flick her way to what would be a memorable goal for her, beating the defender and the goalkeeper along the post, first post. China looked good for a fourth one, but that one sailed over the top. And while they continue to mount one attack after the other, the goal remained elusive, as it did for the Malaysians as well. This one was an example of how China's game panned out. So many close chances not going their way. China eventually settled for what was a fair result for them at the end of the day.